Okay, uh, obviously, uh, uh, extremely tough loss. Um, you know, anytime you go on the road in this league and you play a, a, a good opponent, you can't do the things we did. And uh, you know what? The really, you can go to the very end of the game, and I'm real proud of our team from the standpoint that our defense blocked a field goal and gave us a chance to, to go down and score. And I think we got in the 30-yard line, couldn't do it. So we had an opportunity. We didn't seize the moment. But just a lot of mistakes as far as uh, fumble punts, fumbling the ball out of the, the end zone, you know, when you think you got a touchdown. Um, you know, defensively, obviously, they kept us on the field a lot. You got to give their quarterback credit. Um, you know, he had, um, he, he, he ran the ball extremely well with uh, the scheme that they had. And then uh, offensively, third downs, th three or 14 on the road, you're not going to win very many games like that. So obviously, disappointing. Uh, Disappointing loss. Uh, give Mississippi State credit. Um, they uh, had a good plan, and their kids um, executed it. Questions? Any questions? When you guys realized in the first half you weren't able to run the ball as successfully as you wanted, what did you do at halftime? Yeah, you know, we were, we were having trouble with our zone scheme, uh, getting uh, getting a little bit of movement and started, um, you know, trying to get outside on the perimeter a little bit more in the uh, really late second quarter. And then, at uh, you know, in the second half, uh, started throwing it a little bit more. Um, we had a little success right there. Like I said, we just uh, had a couple opportunities. You know, a game like this, when you have opportunities, you got to seize the moment. Uh, you know, we had a, had our hands on a ball or two in the end zone, and we were close on a deep shot, and but close doesn't get it. And uh, you know, we got to make the plays. Gus, what did you think of Booby's performance there, coming off the shoulder injury, and just I mean, did you know he'd be available? Yeah, I mean, uh, we we were, uh, you know, he practiced, but he didn't practice. You know, he practiced on his jersey, and the trainer said that he was good to play. You know, and so we uh, tried him out in pregame, and you know, he fought hard and. Competed, you know. He's still a young guy. He's still learning. I think he's got a chance to to be a good running back in this league. Jared had a lot of overthrows tonight. What do you think is kind of his issue? He hasn't been been able to get in a rhythm. Too much yeah, time. I mean, we 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 we've got to we've got to get in a rhythm. I mean, we've got to you know we got to do. And it's all of the above. It's not just just one thing. But when you have opportunities, we just got to seize it. Um, you know. Uh, what was the injury to Deshaun? I know he came back in the game. Yeah, he had a, had a leg injury that was pretty scary. You know, he's a tough guy, and he came back in, and uh, we'll we'll see, you know, the extent of it. Um, you know, I know he was getting checked out as I come up here. Gus, what, what did you see on those two uh, plays that were reviewed by the officials, the two, the touchdown at the end of the first half and then Billy's fumble? Yeah, I mean, the, the one at the first half, that was a huge play in the game. I mean, that was, that was a huge – Huge uh, play, huge call, and all that, and it doesn't matter if I agree or disagree. I mean, it's just something you deal with, and that's part of the game. And we've got to uh, uh, overcome it. You know, the the one, you know, down at the when the ball came out, I know it was close, but I don't, you know. And it was a touchback. That's what they said. So that's what you, that's what you do. But you know, even those two things, still we have opportunities, and uh, you know, didn't seize a moment. Similar to that, what were you trying to communicate to the referees after that Ryan Davis? Yeah, the, the whistle blew. There, there was a there was an inadvertent whistle uh, that blew, and so you know, um, then they uh, explained that you know if it happened simultaneously or something like that. But that's that's what I was uh, that's what I was saying because they blew the whistle. Guys, were you pleased with prep during the week leading up to the You know, it, it I was I was pleased with with the prep. Uh, our focus the first road game. I know they were excited, um, you know, to play and on the road. But uh, like I said, when you uh, when you make the mistakes we made uh, on the road, you're not going to win very many games. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll say this: our kids played hard and they fought their butt off, and, and I'm proud of them. Um, but obviously, the mistakes, and, and we got to coach them better, and uh, we got to do a better job, and that starts with me. Yeah, I think I think each game you gather information and you put together a plan with with the guys and um, you know you try to continue to improve. We'll continue to do that and 
the reality is, you know, after six games, you know, the young guys are inexperienced. They're, they're not inexperienced anymore. So we got to start showing improvement, and uh, I expect that we will. Because it looked like third downs and time of possession. Yeah, yeah. I mean, our defense was on the field most of the game. Um, there's no doubt. And then any time you go three or fourteen on third downs offensively, that that makes it tough. Uh, you know, on them, we got to do a better job on third down. I mean, they have a dynamic pass rusher. There's no doubt about that. But um, you know, especially the third and shorts. You know, we've got a we had two third and shorts that we didn't uh, convert, and uh, that can't happen. What was Nick Fitzgerald able to do that made him so much more effective against you guys today than he had been in the past? I uh, just, you know, they ran their speed sweep read. And, uh, you know, he's got long arms, and they did a good job with their scheme, and they had a couple wrinkles, and um, you know, he's he's pretty good when he gets when he gets uh, going downhill. You know, and he got going downhill a few times. What did you say to the the guys post game, coach? I just said we, I was just honest with them. We made too many mistakes to win a game like that, and we just got to man up and. You know, um, our back's against the wall like it was last year at this time, and, and we've got to do the same thing we did last last year. And uh, we've got to play better. We've got to coach them better. Um, but I was just honest with them. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get back to, to Auburn, and tomorrow we'll turn the page, and we've got to solve some of our issues. You, know, you talked about being aggressive, and that's one of the things. You get that turnover early. Yeah. Um, fourth and one and, and field goal units on there before they even measure. Yeah. Um, what was kind of the thought process? Yeah, you know, the thought process was um, I expect this to be a, a fairly low scoring game. And, uh, you know, I just didn't want to give them any momentum. I wanted to put three on the board. So that was the thought. And then, of course, you know, we get back down there, you know, I guess in the second quarter, and we went ahead and went for it. And, uh, you know, uh, got the first down. And I think we had two plays. And then, uh, you know, we had a, a, a bad snap. You know, on the third down and two, which was really tough on us. And I think we missed a field goal after that. So, uh, um, you know, that was that was the thinking on that. After, after the way the, the second half went, do you go back and think maybe we need to pass the ball a little bit more this year to be successful? Offensively? You know, I think each game, um, you know, we're learning more about our team, and you got to to do whatever gives your team the best chance of being successful. But so um, each each week we'll be evaluating that. Considering what, what has happened this season so far, and you've had three straight games where you failed to crack 100 yards rushing, can you get the power run game back this season? Or at this point, is it is, it is what it is? Well, we're, we're, you know, we've had trouble the last three weeks. I mean, that's the facts of it. We've got to solve it. We've got to run the football better. And, um, you know, you got to give them credit. But at the end of the day, that's uh, that's what we've got to do. Anything else? At this, po at this point, with it being the midpoint of the season, do you look inward as a staff to do anything change-wise, whether it's people in the press box, people down the you, you know, I, I just think as, as a head coach, you know, we've got to, to do whatever helps our team, uh, you know, be better and improve and get better. All right, Coach. Thank you.